Welcome guys, this is Data Slash Fun YouTube channel. Today we are going to see our tutorials for beginner, lesson number 11. In that tutorial, we are going to see data manipulation with R using dplyr package. dplyr package is very famous and powerful for data manipulation. Let's see how to do data manipulation with R. So in this session, we are going to cover very important pack, uh, task like how to select random samples from any data frame with specific size if you want to select 10 percent or 20 percent data from whole population then you can easily select by using dplyr package how to remove duplicate entries or duplicate rows by using dplyr package how to select a specific columns from any data frame how to drop any specific columns from data frame how to select columns by referencing this particular letter in that column name suppose in column there is a k letter then you can just refer that letter and you can extract that column for analysis then how to reorder columns by using dplyr package suppose you are not happy the happy with the column arrangement then you can reorder this column by using dplyr package so first we need to install this package in our R studio. Go to packages tab. Here is install and mention dplyr. So here is app option dplyr. You select on that and you click install. Then it will be installed in your local machine. And by, for using this dplyr package, you just need to recall this package by using library function my data frame is in csv format that's what i write here read.csv command this is inbuilt command in r and my data frame is stored on e drive all data and my data frame name is iris.csv so this is my file name of that csv so just check the data frame so data frame having five columns First is sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width, and names. So in name is a character variable, and other four variables columns are integer. So check the dimension of our data frame. How many rows? How many columns? We have 150 rows and five columns in our data frame. So first we see how to select any specific number of rows from your data frame. Suppose I just want to select 10 rows or 7 rows from my original data frame then just write this command sample underscore n whole command is in a small case and my data frame name my data and I just want to 7 rows from that original data frame so you can see here only 7 rows are selected in our data frame like 1 to 7 and these 7 rows are randomly selected not in sequence you can check the randomness also suppose you want to select 10 percent data from our original data frame so you just write here command sample underscore frac so frac nothing but the fraction of data frame and our data frame name and give the fraction so 0 0.1 means we only select 10 percent data from original data frame so our original data frame having 150 rows but because of frac 10 sorry 0 0.1 so that's what only 10 percent data is selected and this is a, also in a random format next if you want to remove duplicate rows or duplicate entries in your data frame here is a only one line of code in our distinct function provided by dplyr package so just write here distinct and data frame and distinct data will be stored in our new object x1 so our original data frame having 150 rows and new distinct data frame having 147 that's mean we have three dummy entries duplicate entries then next how to select specific column in our data frame so by select function in dplyr we can easily select specific column so select my data frame name then c in bracket c why c we i have i have mentioned here because we want to more than one columns that's what i write here concat function in r c function in bracket sample 
uh, special uh, spe petal length and sepal length and name only this column i want to select in new data frame my data 2 so just check the first six rows by head command you can observe here only mention column names here are selected sepal length petal width and names if you want to drop any specific columns you can easily drop by using same command select my data and just mention your minus sign minus sign means we want to drop specific columns from our data frame so sepal length and name column will be removed in our original data frame you can see here sepal width petal length and petal width sepal length and names are dropped and we have stored this all in new object my data one if you want to select any column by using the starting letter of that column suppose here the case is i just want to select columns who start their name with letter yes so just write here command select my data start underscore with and mention that letter name yes and please mention this letter in double code because this is a string so that's what you need to mention in double code or single code so you can observe here only the columns which name start from yes are selected sepal length and sepal width and if you want to drop same columns like start with a yes just write here minus sign select my data minus sign start with yes so this column will be dropped in our original data frame petal length petal width and name if you want to select column which contain any specific letter suppose here in the case is select my data contain w in between the name there is a w that column will be selected in my data for data frame so you can observe here sepal width and petal width having w later that's what the columns are selected so very fastly you can do this type of data manipulation using deep layer if you want to reorder data frame our original data frame having the order sepal length sepal width petal length petal width and name if you want to name is in first place and all remaining columns are after that name column you can easily do that just write select my data name and everything everything means all columns are after the name column so you can observe here by head command you can see top six rows name after the name all the columns are mentioned here so you can do easily any data manipulation task by using deep layer package hope you like this video and please press the like button subscribe this youtube channel for getting latest update in data science and analytical trick thank you so much for watching